You're watching NBC and my name is Mary Segula. Today we have taken you to Zomba in specific at Chancellor College where there was a workshop uh, which has been done by Leadership Development uh, for Africans by Africans. In short, it's called LEAD. We just wanted to find out more about the workshop, what it's all about, maybe talk to the participants and get to know what it was all about, what areas it wants to cover and at the end of the day, what will a Malawian benefit from that. So with me I have uh, Professor who will just tell me more about the workshop. Professor, welcome. Thank you very much. The, the, the underlying theme is that of leadership and sustainable development. Mm -hmm. uh, because as you know, uh, the concept of sustainable development emerged uh, in a serious way in the 1990s. And um, it requires quite a lot of uh, knowledge, new knowledge that needs to be acquired. It also requires uh, certain skills in order to implement uh, sustainable development. For example, uh, environmental impact assessment is one tool. Uh, other monitoring, environmental monitoring tools are also essential. And therefore, it is important that, that people acquire this knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, but for sustainable development to happen, it requires a certain policy frameworks to be in place. And this is why we also have a leadership component. And basically, uh, many of the participants are leaders at various levels. Mm -hmm. And um, so we are just providing them with additional leadership skills. Okay. So the two uh, complement one another. Yeah. Now, basically, when you talk about leaders, it's delegation of those that are under you. What is the beneficial of all this now to a local Malawi in that level? What will he or she get from what you're empowering your students with here? Yeah, exactly. I mean, like today, you, uh, we went to the site visit and uh, where we saw um, young people trying to make a living out of um, uh, crushing quarry, uh, but they are not organized. Uh, but they also said that um, they would be interested in other opportunities. And you saw one of the participants volunteered there and then to say that uh, he would work with them to organize them into a group so that uh, uh, they can access markets in a much better way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what we think uh, the, 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 the Malawian uh, is, is only Malawian will benefit as it has happened uh, today at a community level, mm -hmm. but they also come from various offices and we think uh, that um, they will put these skills to use uh, in, their, in, the, in their offices. And, and in fact, I was just looking at um, uh, a memo, I think that was written by the, uh, the, the chief secretary mm -hmm. uh, in the president's office. Uh, quite clearly, he is talking about sustainable use of, uh, uh, of resources. They're saying, you know, uh, make sure that you switch uh, to energy saver club, mm -hmm. energy saver bulbs. Um, so they, they are also thinking of sustainability. And, and to me, I was pleased to see that. Okay. Yeah. Now, just to wrap it up, what, how would you say, or what would you say are your final comments about leadership and sustainability at the end of the day? Well, I think um, uh, many people uh, are leaders uh, and uh, they're given op op or, uh, positions uh, of, of leadership. Mm -hmm. And uh, the demands for leaders, especially in relation to sustainable development, uh, keep on changing. And people, for example, are talking about green economy which was not the case uh, in the past. So I think leaders need to be in touch with the global changes uh, in relation to sustainable development and the skills that are required to be key players, even on a global level. Yeah. Thank you very much, Professor. Thank you.